Hey guys, welcome back. For some reason, my GoTV took like half an hour to connect, and yet we, Chewie's right, we are live, so it's not my fault, it's GoTV's fault. And uh, there we go, Pasha um, underground, Innocent going towards B house, and here goes nothing. Lord, of course, up against his old team. Oh, Pasha, he's playing it, Ninja, he will get takedown too. They're going to try and shut him down, and fair play to Pasha in a bit of an Edward roll back in the day on Tuscan on CS 1.6. But here goes nothing as Dobry Gaming or Meet Your Makers try to infiltrate this B bomb site. We have no radar. Hopefully, we'll be able to sort that out sometime soon. Innocent, not so innocent. He's got snacks his blood on his hands, but Kowalski is all by himself, and Bayali disposes of him, and the score is 1-0 to the uh, Intellectry Master Karavita champions. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with your, with, if you don't have a radar or anything, everything seems to be it's, it's fine now. with it's me up. or anything, there we go, you're all good. Yeah. So we are back and all sorts, so yeah, Virtus Pro did take the knife round in pretty convincing style as well, and they decided to switch over, so uh, obviously then starting on the CT side, and they managed to take the pistol round again. So we do see three fan masses in play already, and let's see what the guys from MYM are going to be doing now. I'm having a look at the kind of rosters and, and everything that's going on there now. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, but uh, Kowaliski or something like that, that's going to be a hyper, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken. So just to make sure that nobody gets confused with that whatsoever. But there we go, Bayali's going to get the first kill, although Lord does answer back and take down Taz. Neo's going to take down Innocent in return there, so this should be pretty simple for the guys over in Virtus Pro to be able to take the second round again. We talked about it earlier on, as soon as you take that pistol round, you're able to afford more, so that means that you're able to buy more, and then you should have the gun advantage and min minis, is that, is that how you pronounce his name? I'm not quite sure about it. He's going to try and go for a knife kill at least anyway. <laughs> Dear me. Oh, oh, the teeth oh, kill! Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dearie me, dearie, dearie me. That was uh, that was interesting. <laughs> Everybody in the chat's kind of uh, loving that one. Uh, right, so here we go. Let's go. Somebody's already bashing me in the chat saying that I can't say names right. No, I can't. I'm trying my best to pronounce names the best way possible. But if not, kind can help me. I'm sure. But here we go. Two O oh, it is. Murders Pro versus MYM, not Dobre Gaming. Do you know what that's all about? The kind of, do you no know why idea. they call themselves that? As far as I'm aware, no. they're called Meet Your Makers. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. But it's the Battle of the Poles. Yep, the Battle of the Poles. The Battle of Warsaw, the Battle of Katowice, and here goes nothing. The team from Katowice with the weapons, with the uh, four pharmacies and the one M4, and Pasha coming around the corner. He's got two. Taz on the score sheet as well, but Mr. Kowalski, Mr. Ninja, has got the bomb down. But surely he won't last too much longer. He won't, but I've got no idea how we managed to get that bomb down, but fair play to him. That will, of course, give his team a nice money boost going into round number four, where well, you will expect him to buy up, so maybe we'll see an AWP in the hands of one of the uh, my, uh, my M my MYM players. Yep, indeed, we will have to find out, and it looks like Pasha is going to buy that. He's just, Pasha's, like, he's just one of those players that really stuck out for me uh, over at IEM Kalowitschi. I don't know why, he just... He's so uh, big. He's just, yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so, he, yeah, he stood out in a lot of respects, not just with his gameplay as well. But here we go, because now the score being thrown, that does mean that MYM have got enough money in the bank to be able to buy it, and they have decided to go for five AK-47s overall. So we talked about it a bit earlier on in the first game of the day, and we'll quickly discuss it here about how important it is to be able to get that first round on the board when you are able to buy, excuse me, as I do hiccup mid-sentence there, but it looks like Bayer's going to find some players at the top there, over towards Scaffold, are they going to make them move in, oh, he actually shoots his own player there, that's not good, didn't put too much damage into him, but that was very, very close indeed, let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, we are going to see what's going to happen, I'll tell you what's happened, the, uh, the uh, MYM players have taken down three of the Virtus Pro players, so fair enough, they've got more or less full control of this A bomb site, or maybe not, it's Snacks going to try and put a stop to that, of course he's going to try, Minai's boom headshot onto Snacks, and Bayali, he's all by himself, he's lurking in and around CT spawn, and he will get one, surely not, surely Bayali won't do the impossible, he will throw that flash, it's oh, Bayali with a headshot, oh, oh, so close, I think I would have jumped out of my seat if he'd have done that, I literally think I probably would have just threw my headset down, left the room and just never decided to play Counter-Strike again because I know that I'd never be able to pull anything off like that, but still very very close indeed, MYM do manage to get their first round on the board there, which as we mentioned earlier is all important, but 
because Virtus Pro did have three rounds in a row. At the start of the game, they are able to buy again, so M4s and AK-47s is the name of the game here in the fifth round. It looks like the guys from MYM are going to make their way over towards A, only leaving one player back, which is actually going to be innocent over towards, well, over in that B kind of area of the map at least as well so let's see what's going to happen Bialy just happy to sit back at the second again looking up towards scaffold to see if anybody's going to be pushing through bit of a slow round so far not really too much aggression coming in from either side let's see where they're going to make the move when they're going to make it and how they're going to do it we're about to find out smoke grenades all sorts of grenades starting to go in right now let's see if they're going to push and it looks like they're starting to make their move they are starting to make their move and Pasha is in T-spawn already so Neo on top of the steps oh, Fox no. stands and kills and there we go Lord up against his ex-teammates of course unfortunately Neo was the only casualty and Virtus Pro are still three rounds up, 4-1's the score, and they've got the weapons. Only Minai's can afford an AK-47 for Dobry Gaming, or Meet Your Makers, whatever they uh, fancy calling themselves at the moment. And of course, on paper, guys, it should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy, in favour of Virtus Pro. It should be a Virtus Pro round, but uh, it is Counter-Strike, and the thing is, you never know just about what might happen. So, bomb on the back of Lord as they head over towards that B-bomb site where Neo and Snacks are uh, ready. Oh no, they're underground, guys. They're underground. It's so difficult to realise that just by looking at the overlay. And they will come down from underground. Pasha with his biceps, of course. His world-famous biceps in the CS scene. He will peek window room. But Minai's with that first kill. And here we go. Pasha says, I know where you are. I will finish you off. And he finishes two off with Ease. Bayali will nade down mid. There's only two more of these Dobry Gaming or Meet Your Maker players to go. And one of them, of course, is Lord, the ex Virtus Pro player. See you later, Michu. And uh, surely Lord. There we go. Easy peasy. And Virtus Pro showing us why. They are the Intel Extreme Master Champions. It's as simple as that. Yeah, 5 1 is your score. And uh, they're pretty much dominating in a lot of respects. Snacks hasn't even got a kill. And they're still four rounds ahead. So very good work coming from Virtus Pro off the first six rounds that we've seen so far. And once again, they are called Dobry Gaming now. Okay, so yeah. somebody's explained in the chat what's happened. So, I mean, I'm sure you guys can see it anyway, but if you can't see the chat, we'll explain it. Apparently, unless the CS scene is trolling us, they are called Dobry Gaming now. They don't work with Meet Your Makers anymore, but they started this tournament as MYM and they can't change it anymore. So that's word for word what they put in the chat. So thank you very much to them for updating us on that. But we will refer to them with MIM for now, I would assume, but still, it's a 5 on 5 situation, they haven't got anything of worth here, MIM, they are starting to make their way through apartments, we'll see if they can get stopped in their tracks, it looks like they're starting to make their move now, flash grenades going down, smoke grenade going to come in from Neo, trying to slow them down a bit, although they have been able to jump down there, he's going to take out one, takes out two, he's going to get oh. the third, oh, Snacks comes in, he's going to get another one, yes he does, that's his third, he's on the hat trick, Pasha's biceps is going to clean up. 6 1 is your score. Pretty standard considering the fact that MYM were on an eco. Now they're going to be able to buy up their AK 47s all round, it should be, and an AWP actually for Minis so they can get around on the board. Because if Verse Pro keep up this momentum, they are going to start to run away with this one, I feel. Yep, you'd expect it. Um, so here goes nothing. Dobry Gaming won't call them Meet Your Makers anymore because, of course, we know they're not Meet Your Makers anymore. They are Dobry Gaming. With a uh, four-man AK setup, and it's Minai's with the AWP. Bayali, you can see how aggressive Virtus Pro are going. Bayali's pushed up mid. Snaps oh, will get that frag, but surely Bayali will get dropped sometime soon. That flash will go out towards mid. They will hunt Mr. Bayali down, and there we go, Mr. Michu. Not the man from Swansea. He's the uh, the Polish <laughs> Michu. Will return that kill. Four versus four. Taz, all eyes on a connector, and we can see how Virtus Pro are playing this. They're they're playing it cool, calm and collective. They're waiting for Dobry to come to them, and waiting for Dobry to come to them. They've allowed Kowalski to get a kill, and here we go. Pasha, he will see someone at mid. Oh, lovely shooting from oh. Pasha, so crisp, so good, and Bayali as well. And Lord, the ex Virtus Pro man with the weight of the world on his shoulders, and it's boom headshot from Bayali. Seven one is your score. And a lot of people said they wanted me to uh, translate some of the Arabic on Mirage. And that thing to the left of your screens where it says ticket sales actually says Mubayyat Tadakar, which means ticket sales in Arabic. So there you go, <laughs> teaching some surprise. people Arabic. Yeah, like I promised on Twitter. But anyways, over to you, Chewy. 
Indeed, and uh, I have to say so far, I'm so jealous of Virtus Pro and just how well they're playing right now, because I just wish I could replicate this. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Chewie is sticking to casting with Counter-Strike now, not playing with my terrible skills. If any of you ever see me playing Counter-Strike, I can promise you it's not a pretty sight, and just looking at the way Virtus Pro are playing, you can tell why they are the IM Kadovici champions, and once again, they forced Aubrey Gaming back onto an eco. Oh, Innocent picks up a great headshot there on to Pasha, but he's going to be surrounded any second. There we go, he just gets eventually taken out by Taz, Taz with the spray into Lord as well, leaving Michi the last one left alive, not the Swansea player, as you did say <laughs> earlier on. Kai Knight, but still 8 1 is your score, and this is just running away in Virtus's favour at the second. It's going to be a long road back already for Dobry, but never class a team out until GG's. We have seen a comeback on this map just about a week ago, 13 3 down. Mm. That was Hellraisers and against Navi, uh, Navi it yep. was, yeah, indeed. So I'm never going to class anybody out, but still, Dobry Gaming not looking very good so far. I do have to admit, nothing against them, but uh, Virtus Pro showing why they are champions. Yep, definitely yeah. showing why they are champions. Uh, bomb is B sided uh, on the back of Lord and Kowalski. And you see, the thing that worries me from here is that if Pasha pushes mid, he'll realise no one's there. If Taz and Bayali and decide to push ups and push a connector, sorry, they'll realise no one's there, which is probably why Kowalski is holding T spawn, trying to protect his teammates from behind. But it's quite blat it would be quite blatant if Taz and Co pushed outside the A bomb site. Um, it would be quite blatant for the Virtus Pro players to know that Minis and Co are coming towards this B bomb site. It's boom headshot. It that is the first frag and Neo on short returns the kill. And he will fall back now. Innocent. Ooh. Hanging on to a thread is Mr. Neo. Only 3 HP. But the important thing, if you're a Dobry fan, is that that only important bomb is down. And Mr. Pash is down as well. Beautiful little headshot from Kowalski. And now Virtus Pro. Oh, one man down. Taz is going to begin rotating. It's even Steven. It is three versus three. It's Neo up against Lord, up against the ex-teammate. And Neo wins that battle despite being on only three HP. And here goes nothing. Virtus Pro are going to try to retake it. But Innocent, not so innocent anymore. He's got the blood of these Virtus players on his hands. And he will go down. And finally, Dobry have something to scream and shout about. 8-2 is the score. <laughs> Going into round number 11. Yep, round number 11 it is. 8-2. And, uh, of course, because of the situation which Virtus Pro led themselves into, they are still able to buy Got plenty of money in the back from what I can see so far. The only player not really with a lot of money is actually going to be Pasha, although he's top fragging 13-6. and six. But he's having another great game, 13-3. and three. For him, Snacks just hasn't really even done much this game so far, and they're still playing very, very well. Indeed, of course, not taking away from his performance. He doesn't need to with the way that the rest of his team are performing. But that was a great round, as you do say, from Dobry Gaming. They are stacked up once again towards apartments over towards B, leaving one player, which is, I do believe, going to be a Hyper, actually over towards T spawn at second, although that bomb's going to rotate back towards there as well, which is Lord right back over there. So they are starting to split. Let's see if that's going to work in their favour. Having a look at the CT side, you do see three players, well, two on A, one in connect tunnel, and I do believe that's well two towards mid anyway, at least, and then one right back towards B. But it looks like the push is going to be going in towards B. Is it going to be a fake though? Because the bomb is nowhere near there. Meets you with a great pick on to Pasha. That's going to open the doors for them. Minai's is actually down to 49 HP as well. So here we go. And this has just been a great push so far. Is it going to work out for them? They rotate all the way over from B towards A. They have got a clear sight. On to the A-bomb site. Snacks is going to be the last one after live, and this is looking much, much, much better from Dobry Gaming. Double from Snacks. He will get that first frag, and Minai's only on 49 HP. But Lord's still uh, alive and well. No need for a medic just yet for Lord. Snacks, he's making a lot of noise. He needs to check his left. And no Snacks, mate. You can't make so much noise in a situation like that because, well, these teams, Dobry Gaming, they're good players, you know, and they will punish you. Even if you give them, give them like a, a little footstep, they will punish you. And that's why Dobry Gaming have got their third round on the board, finally. 8-3 is the score. And uh, here we go. So Dobry Gaming, they've won a few consecutive rounds. You can see their, their financial situation now is a lot more healthy than Virtus Pro's. Uh, it's only snacks on over $2,000 for, I was going to say the Polish team, but then you go through that phase where you realise that both teams are the same nationality. I had that issue with Mal Sports and Alternate earlier on in, in the week. But anyway, so what are they going to do? Bombs being dropped outside of B. And you know what, Chewie, is quite interesting. They, oh, oh, wow. Well, 
Fair play, whatever floats your boat, me nice. This is one thing Dobry have been trying to do. They've been taking the bomb B sided, they've been playing it slow, and then they're changing their mind and rotating back round. It worked for them the last round, they got the bomb down, it gave them that cash boost, which is why they've got the cash advantage. And let's see whether they're, they're gonna try and opt to do it again, but Neo's decided to double up in apps. Minai's ain't expecting him, and Neo with that crisp headshot onto Minai's, and I think Taz knows Kowalski's coming. Taz lurking in and around that stairs area, will get the shot. Bayali is all by himself, but he don't care, he will get two kills, and it's Lord once again. Not anymore, 9-3, and uh, in a way, one thing I hate about Mirage is how slow the build-up is. But the yeah. thing I love about Mirage is that even though the build-up is really slow, once the teams decide they want to hit a bomb site, they will hit it and rush straight. All in there. hell breaks loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I, I completely agree. And uh, I mean, one thing that I have to say there is that Virtus Pro, I think they predicted that Dobry were going to do that again. It was a very, very, very similar play to the last round, which of course Dobry won and Virtus Pro went, okay, they've done it once, so they're probably going to do it again. Let's mm. completely counteract it. And that shows why they are champions once again, because the way that Dobry played that was, it wasn't quite the same, but it was pretty much very similar. And Virtus Pro just went, okay, we know that you're going to do this. Let's just shut you out in one. And they took it in very convincing style indeed. So 9 3 it is. Into the 13th round we go. We said that it's going to be a slow build up. Hasn't been this round so far. They all start to attack her. They are starting to change things up. Shots going down everywhere. Neo and Snacks are going to be the last two left alive. They're in the middle, heading over from Connection the second. Hyper's going to be able to get one, taking down Neo. Now it's left in a one versus three once again for Snacks. He's going to get taken down to 60 HP. I'm pretty sure that they are. They do know where he is. He gets finally taken out there by Lord. 9 4 is your score. Bombs planted as well, which is, of course, going to lead in the advantage of Dobry Gaming. Let's have a look at the buy situation. They are going to force it up, and Snacks. He's gone for a shotgun. Yep. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him go for that shotgun. Uh, I think no. he was on DDoS 2 a few uh, few days ago where he was outside a long hut with that shotgun. Managed to get a, a, an ace, I think it was. So, oh, uh, really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, he was brilliant. So uh, I wonder if he'll be able to replicate that. He was up against terrorists with, 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 or with AKs as well. And that's the thing about the shotguns. When you use them properly, they can be deadly. But obviously, if we were to peak mid right now, I won't exactly suggest it for him. Oh, lovely shot from Neo. The pixel shot. No idea how he even saw that. But he has given his team, Inverters Pro, that one-man advantage. And of course, one is better than none. That's what I always say. And where are Dobry going to head? Well, Lord has decided that he wants to stay away from Snacks and Shotgun. And he will go back round towards the A-bomb site. But Innocent will level things up. And now Dobry will be fully aware of the fact that there is one less CT on that B-bomb site. So they will push in. Kowalski with one. Minai's will get the headshot onto Taz. And Minai's now, he's falling back. It's Snacks and Pasha to attempt to retake this bombs. Oh, hello. Pasha once again, the ninja. It's absolutely oh, sensational from Pasha. And now, Minai's, he has no idea what just happened. He's all by himself. <laughs> and Pasha. Pasha, 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 Pasha. That was nasty. That was literally just like... That was just humiliation. I don't know like what's the best word to use there, but that was just domination, humiliation, <laughs> complete professional just dominance and I yeah, I I have no words. Chewy is shocked. Is, the thing is it's that not was the first amazing. time in this game that he actually sneaks behind Dobry Gaming like that. And no, to do that's that true. not only do you need to be a ninja, which he is, but you've got to be so intelligent. Because it's not easy to do that when you consider that Dobry Gaming, uh, I don't know if you want to call them professional players or not, but they're pretty darn good at this game. So, you know, you're not playing in matchmaking, you're not playing on a public server here. And there we go, Innocent returning the favour because of what Neo did to him in the last round, of course. But yeah, for Pasha to be able to play Ninja like that and just take Dobry Gaming by storm is just terrific. And uh, Dobry Gaming seem a bit pissed off with what happened in that previous round. And they've uh, gone out all guns blazing and given themselves a two-man advantage. Innocent playing it cool. It's someone to team kill his teammate and just as like I said that uh, Dobry Game had the two man advantage there we go it's three on three again Snacks in the back of this B bomb site Snacks with his second kill Michu wasting no time whatsoever to get the return frag and the bomb guys will go down on this B bomb site by Ali he's making noise but Michu is not going to be the man of the moment it's going to be Lord he's been heavy tagged he's up against his ex teammates let's see if we can use his knowledge of his ex teammates to perhaps pull this clutch off not meant to be. 11-4. And Dobry Gaming, Chewy, they had a, not just a one-man advantage, they had a two-man advantage. 
and they blew it. This is the thing that I remember you know, like hearing about the Verdus Pro and why people think that they are such a strong team. Uh, because just the way that they back each other up, and they've, they're always kind of two of them there, like there's the buddy-buddy system, and they just do it so well, like, mm. even though they were two men down, and yeah, okay, one player was left on his own momentarily, just the way that they buddied up and supported each other and went, okay, yeah, we've got a man disadvantage here, but we're still going to buddy up, we're not going to, you know, rotate too far away yeah, from each other, we're just going to make sure, that, yeah. One by one, yeah, you know, and some teams do that, they do yeah. split up and go, okay, we have to take one person on this bomb site, one person on another bomb site, and then the other wherever, blah, 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 but Virtus Pro don't always seem to do that, they mm. just, you know, they stick together, they make sure that they can get the kills, and if one person does go down, then they at least try and, you know, return the kill, and yeah. it just seems to work for them, they do it time and time again, but 11-4 is your score, and I have to say they are looking very, very good so far. Yeah, and apparently we're right. pronouncing Michu wrong. It's Mihu. I do apologize about that. Thank you for letting us know in the chat. We, we, we're not aware how to pronounce everybody's names. So thank you for reminding us. That is greatly appreciated. So we will make sure we pronounce it Mihu now, if that's correct. You see, the issue is that obviously I come from a source background. Uh, like some players like Lord and obviously Neo and all them lot, they come from a 1.6 background. So there are some players where whose names I have no idea how to pronounce. Like I've been saying Kowalski for... Kowalski, well that's how I say his name. So let me know if that pronunciation is wrong as well. I will try to say Mihu, but it is tempting to say Michu because it Yeah, it's be especially because of the football player. player. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Theory me. So here we go. Uh Virtus Pro wasting no time whatsoever to push straight into this uh, larger A bomb site. Lord is hanging on to a thread on five HP. It's the man with the biceps to take him down. No, it's gonna be Taz actually blowing him to smithereens and Mihu see I said it right with that nade oh that was a phenomenal nade and there we go innocent returning the frag and Virtus Pro finally at some sort of disadvantage in this game boom headshot from mini eyes and now Virtus Pro are in a mess or are they Kowalski Kowalski he's completely um, ignored the fact that Snacks is behind Kowalski you need to stop Snacks mate because Snacks will punish you he's looking to punish these Dobry players oh my God. he has done but Mihu Mihu is defusing no he's not the flash will go Mihu what are you doing, Miku? And Snacks, he failed with the three versus one clutches in the previous half, but he's done it this time round on the pistol round. Cometh the hour, cometh the man, and that man is Snacks. 12-4, and now that Verdus Pro have that pistol round, I don't see any way back in it for Do Dobry. I'm sorry, Miku should have held on to the defuse. I don't know what was going on in their comms, but it just wasn't good enough, and they've given away a cheap round. I know us castles are supposed to stay neutral, but I think that round and just the way that Virtus Pro are playing so far has cemented them as my favourite team in Counter Strike at the minute. I mean, nothing against any other squads, but just it's just sexy Counter Strike. Yeah. I'm just going to say it like that. It's just sexy. It's just it's played so well and with such finesse. And I'm getting really dramatic right now just because of how impressive that was. But you know that was just phenomenal work. 12-4 is your score once again. Dobry Gaming back only with pistols in their hand. Oh. You do see Snacks coming around the corner though, he is going to get taken out, so that, yeah, oops, indeed. Snacks does get taken out there, although uh, that was Hyper, <laughs> only on 30 HP. Pasha is just going to clean them up with his Galil, more than happy to do so. Lord is the last one left alive, and unless a miracle happens for Dobry Gaming, it's going to be 34. First Pro, they really are quite simply eradicating every single counter-terrorist on the pitch right now. Well, not on the pitch, on the map. Uh, <laughs> It's simple as that. Apologies about any lag kicking in. Once again, I think it's GoTV because we're not dropping frames, guys, last, like last time around. Uh, because what happens is the teams play on their own server and then SLTV receive that IP address and then they relay the GoTV, which sometimes can cause the lags. And Bayali wasting no time to get that first frag. And that is not what the doctor ordered for Dobry. And now if Innocent gets caught with his pants down. Hey, see, this is the thing, Chewie. This is the, ch this is the thing. You said it was sexy Counter-Strike. Okay, Virtus Pro have the weapons. But even when it's weapons against weapons, like Dobry Gaming were trying to play their two sides so slow and methodical. But Virtus Pro, they just make all the noise in the world and they just stamp straight in there. They don't give a monkey's toss. They make noise, <laughs> they jump around everywhere, they bunny hop everywhere, and they're just like, right lads, it's we're Virtus Pro, get out of the way, we're bloody good <laughs> at this game. And they just start. 
Like, they they just play it with no fear. They just jump around and make so much noise. And it's like they don't give a damn. That confidence. Like, Critical, back in the day. I don't know if you know who Critical is. Obviously, because he come from a card no. background. But he's an old English player. And someone don't interviewed him. And, and, <laughs> and someone interviewed him once. And someone asked him, why? You, how are you so confident coming into this game? And I think his exact words are, Counter-Strike is all about confidence. Counter-Strike yeah. is all about yeah, confidence. I mean I think that goes for a lot of esports as well, though. I mean, like, you can talk about gun skill, you can talk about strategics, you can talk about experience, but it's come down to who has the mental game as well. That's such an important factor. You can talk about it time and time again. But still, we've been going on about Virtus Pro a lot and saying how good they are. We've got to stay neutral because so far, Dobry Gaming are having a great round so far, and Bialy is actually the last one left alive, so he's going to go down in quick fashion. We've been talking about how confident Virtus Pro have looked so far, but Dobry looked incredibly confident there. Still, of course, with the money situation that uh, Virtus Pro have got, they are going to be able to buy once again. 14-5 is your score heading into the 20th round. I'm loving this game so far. It's not really a thriller in terms of score so far, but just with what we've seen and, and how uh, Virtus Pro are playing this, you know, this map, it's just phenomenal. I'm not very good at Mirage. I'm really, really bad. Well, I'm pretty bad at most maps. Wow, that was a nice shot by Minize. But you know, I'm going to have to look back and see how Virtus Pro are playing this map because they're definitely going to be able to give me some good tips. So Innocent, the only one on B at the second. I'm not quite sure why. Auto director is leading us onto this man because he's not going to meet anybody. So come on, auto director, please wake up. There we go. Over to Mihu though, who is going to see Pasha through the smoke, taking him down to one single HP. Snax is going to push through. He's going to see Lord to his left. He's going to take him out with the headshot. Couple of bullets down range, and he takes him out in very quick fashion. Biali takes down Hyper. That is now it's a four on three. So the man advantage in favour of Furtis Pro. I do believe for the first time in this round, Biali is on the A-bomb site at the second. It's Innocent and Minai's last two left alive. And this is the thing, again, Virtus Pro just keep doing. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. What? What? <laughs> oh, and then Auto Director takes us away. Why do you do this, Auto Director? And, and once again, they're right next to each other. There we go. <laughs> Why Ali's going to finish him off? Why do you do this, Auto Director? Oh my gosh. But Virtus Pro, again, they were like two men down, I do believe, or at least one man down at one point, and then they just put it down. Even if they've got like a one man disadvantage, they are just more than happy to still play exactly as they would if they had five men and go in there and just pick up two frags, just simple as that, and then lead the man advantage in their favour and close it out like that. They are just looking so strong. They're on match point. We're into the 21, 21st round, sorry. And Dobry Gaming, if they want to stay in this game, they've got to win 10 rounds on the trot. Yeah, it's going to take something yeah. special, but take nothing away from them. We've seen it done before. We've seen, uh, and there we go. Oh, Pasha with two. And what is Auto Director doing? I've got no clue. I know, right? Yeah, I know. Three versus three. Kowalski with that shotgun. He's been uh, tagged down to, well, I said he's been tagged down. He's been absolutely uh, decimated by Bayali. No head anymore on him. Minai's will return the frag on to Bayali and Innocent now in a two versus one situation. And he's going to rotate all the way around from CT spawn. And he's making no noise. And he just might catch a glimpse of Taz. But obviously he can't see what we can see. Come on, Innocent. We've seen you pull it off before. We know how good you are. Let's, no. Auto director again going off the wrong person. 16-5 the score. And I honestly expected better from 